did I moan that it was... Bloody flies. Did I moan that it was wet the last time that I did a video? Certainly not wet today. In fact, about 35 degrees, I think. Anyway, what have we got for today? I'll give you a clue. How's that for a clue? Yeah, great clue, wasn't it? We're fitting windows today. As I say, it's about 35 degrees. Great for the flower show, which is on today. Not so great for me when I'm working inside a van. Gray metal box. I'm gonna try and attempt a new way of fitting these windows. I don't know why I'm trying something out in such an expensive van, but uh, on previous occasions, I've actually drilled a hole from the outside and tried to guess where the lip is. There should be a lip somewhere around here, a border. We drill a hole through and then we cut through from the outside and then we tidy up the lip. Why have I not seen anybody cut it from the inside? out. Is there a reason? Should we go and find out, do a little bit of a social experiment? I've got my trusty GoPro, so I'm going to feel, film from this side and from the inside. I've got my trusty mouth mount, so let's go, talk. let's go and take a look. Right, here we go. Uh, this is the lip that I meant, which uh, runs along the inside, which should really um, guide me in my cuts, in theory. I've already cut through these. Uh, you may have noticed I did this a couple of weeks ago. So they come off nicely. I think what I'm going to do then is drill a hole from the inside in each corner and then cut around that lip. Then in theory and hopefully in practice that will tell me or rather that will give me exactly the right edge uh, for me to put my gasket on, put my U-channel U on, as they call it, just over here in the other skin, uh, and then we'll be able to fit our window. Let's hope it works. By the way, did I show you my little sketch of uh, my wiring diagram? I'm still scared about the electrics, but hopefully this makes it a bit more simple for me. I shall shift that out of the way. Right, I'm going into mouth guard mode, so uh, there'll be no speaking from me. Right, quick change of plan. As you can see, I was going to try and drill some relatively big holes in the corners. I um, haven't managed to do that because the metal hole saw that I bought is no good for metal. <laughs> what do you know?
hold of that. I was going to tape it. Don't think I need to go to such lengths. So careful. Surprisingly heavy. There we go. One hole. I don't know what you think. I'm not quite pleased with that. So, just need to get some cloths, some wet wipes, industrial wet wipes. Clean all this area down. They send some special wipes as well, so I'll wipe it down with that. And then I just need to prime all this area, make sure that the bare metal is covered, pinched together, and we've got the U channel on. So, that's what I'm doing next. That's how hot it is today. Nice. Gives me something to aim for, if nothing else. Thank God nobody sees it. Okay, bossing stick. Used to be a leg worker. This is the U channel. That I spoke about, it goes on this edge. U channel, I call it a gasket. You can see, there we go. See the profile. And that goes over the two two skins. Now we'll keep the joint either at the top or at the bottom, preferably. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna try and put this on the top. The reason being I'm not sure what sort of blinds I get, but if I get the blinds to sort of sit down a little bit, it means it'll cover the joint perfectly. So let's go with that at the moment. Alright. Not easy going on, but try and squeeze on, squeeze the two bits of metal together in the first instance. And then push it on. Shit it now. I should get the these. Bloody kill my thumbs. That's better. Oh god, that's much better. Use water pump pliers or normal pliers. Just to squeeze the two bits of metal together and push it on. Come on, Toby. <laughs> Oh, 
what I'm trying to do is make sure Right, we have a joint here. Let me show you. We have a joint here. What we need to do, we don't need to cut that joint level with the joint. We need to cut the joint about here, just so that we can uh, make sure that it, you know, we've really got enough seal and we can uh, we can push it up. Let me see if I can explain. Just one minute. Yeah, it's got a little light metal U shaped bits in it. I'm not keen on this gasket to be honest. There we go. See that? Right, little staples which holds the form of it, but um, you know, the gap between these two bits of metal is quite wide so. It's having to bridge that gap. I'm not keen on that gap, but still, I'm sure it will do a job. So once we've done that, we fold this back, we put that piece on first. Here's my bits. means it pushes up tight you've got a nice tight seal there we go. right okay raffi has gone inside it's far too hot um this is a powered uh mastic gun when i've tried to fit windows before and i've used conventional mastic guns i've um i've broken them in fact i broke three doing the t6 but I've invested in this, which is just a cheap make, honesty. I don't know what that means. But it does the job, uh, but I don't like using it. So here goes. What I've done is just marked on here, I don't know if you can see, little white dots. And they are where the drainage channels are going. So I don't need to put as much mastic on there, otherwise I'm gonna struggle. But I'm gonna try and keep at least a steady, run of mastic all the way around here without any breaks so that there's no um, no chance of a leak <laughs> he says see how we go oh there's a bit of a mess over here so i'm gonna have to get something wet doesn't look too thick there. Listen, that is awful. That's a terrible job. That's a terrible job. Awful job. I 
Okay, mastic is on. It's not nice in this heat. I don't like using that powered mastic gun. Um, I can't think of any more excuses for why my mastic is so messy. But the important thing is we've got a good seal because behind here, once this window is on, you ain't gonna see that mastic at all. So it doesn't matter if it's a beautiful little bead of mastic, but it's continuous or looks like a dog's dinner, but you've made sure that you've gone around and you put a second seal on it so that, you know, if one doesn't work, the other one does. Of course, it's got to adhere to the van as well. So plenty of mastic. Again, in this heat, 35 degrees, I'm using packing tape because other tape is just coming off. This is the third type of tape I've tried on this today to see what holds the best. This seems to hold the best. Let's hope it holds my window on. Let's get on with it. Nice lines, nice lines, <clears throat> nice lines. Jesus Christ. How's that looking up there? Not to be equal. I would say we've got drainage at the bottom, so leave a little bit of a gap there. Push against that sealant. Just run your finger down it. You'll feel it. You'll feel it. Any inconsistencies? It's dropping. It might be dropping. This is so hot. Hold on. Get that pin up there for now. See if we've got a little plug or something to go under that. One second. Right. Little wire connectors. Mm, they don't seem, seem thick enough. I do, these bad boys. Look at these. There we go. Uh, that's nice. Let's see if you've got one under the bottom here and one under the bottom there. But that's going to give you a nice gap. Feels nice. Let's try that. Right. It's come out, isn't it? <laughs> it's come out. Oh, we do. Um, no matter. Got a bit of sealant I can see poking up there. Whilst it's wet, we're going to get the spread and knife and just push that down. Other than that, we're looking okay. I'm quite 
quite pleased with that. As I've said before, if you shut the windows, or the doors rather, don't slam them because there's a build up of pressure inside the van. You know, I know the window's open, but better safe than sorry. Hey, what's going on in there? He's playing with the new windows he fitted. <laughs> He's playing with the new windows I fitted. Do you like them? Yeah, I do. Yeah, they're really, um, they're really tinted from the outside, so they feel really private. But on the inside, they're letting loads of light. So as you'd expect well, from windows. Let, let me see if that's right. By Jingo, she's correct. Oh, hello. Hey. Boy. How's that? Good. Yeah. Um, the mechanism's quite stiff on them. Yeah. You know, it's like two it hands for you to move them. Yeah. But that'll be if as you as you use them more and more, I think. Yeah. Just push that down. Um, but the, the good thing is, is they lock. So. Yeah. There, Rafi can stick his head out, but he can't stick the rest of his body out. Yeah. She might be good. And then. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. I th I th it goes again, but then it drops again a bit further down. You can see here. Yeah, I think I'll have to just be in charge of opening them. Yeah. Anyway, as long as you're happy. Okay. Super. Right. Here we go. All sorted then. So, um, that's it for this week again then. Doosh. On to the next job. We're in here. Which is, no, we're not going to say, you're not going to give the game away this time. Don't say a word. Right. Okay then, guys. Thanks for watching, if you have been watching indeed. And um, we'll see you next time.